yeah, chill out. Hold up. Yeah, so look, <clears throat> you know the last video I said, you know, we're gonna be reacting to a Udi video because yeah, because it Udi been going crazy. Udi been dropping. Yeah, you know, we got like at least six videos to catch up on. That's crazy. Mm -hmm, that's crazy. But anyway, um, another thing too, uh, I shouldn't say this while I keep drinking water, but uh I got a piss. And this video shows 26, 26 minutes and, and 27 seconds. That's a long ass time without going piss. And I'm drinking water, so it's gonna get devious. So I might have to speed run this shit. Mm-hmm. Yep, I hate to say it. As I drink more water. I don't know what the fuck wrong with me. Real quick, let me put this shit up. I look smooth. I look smooth. Yeah, we look smooth, I guess. Anyway, hold up. Let me put this mug on and we're gonna stop the talking. We're gonna get to the reaction. Now, too, I do have me some checks mix. You know, I ain't gonna lie, I might be munching on this. So if you hear me eating, don't mind me. Nigga, can, can I eat too? Like goddamn, you I I, I give you the right to eat. <laughs> that mug's so good. Anyway, shut up. Today we're placing Chris's girlfriend, Ari, to the <clears> test. <throat> the test is going to be taking place here at this beautiful home in Hollywood Hills. Chris's job is to bring his girlfriend here, and Tony's job is to test for loyalty. Chris, do you think that your girlfriend will trade you for a more successful guy? Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> but how about we give her a call, though, make sure that she's even still down to come. Is Chris's girlfriend a gold digger? Today we set up an elaborate test to help him find out. Hey, babe. Hey. How you doing? Just woke up? No, I just got done walking my left. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I was just want to make sure that you're still cool with seeing the room today. Check it out. Yeah, I'm still down. Um, I'll come pick you up like an hour, so. All right, that sounds good. All right, see you later. Chris has convinced his girlfriend, Ari, to come check out a spare bedroom in this home. You see, mm. Tony is pretending to be Chris's friend that lives here who is ready to rent out the room. Mm -hmm. This is the bedroom that Tony's gonna be offering you. Remember, Chris, in this room, you gotta act broke, okay? You're basically the antithesis of this man here. That won't be that hard. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you wanna put your girlfriend to a test? I just wanna make sure she's loyal. I wanna take her relationship to the next step. She has all these guys in her DMs. Let's see how easily I am to be replaced. So hopefully not yeah, that that's easy, true. bro. Hopefully not that easy. That's why I wanna do this test, because like, loves me for me and doesn't let the finances get in the way. You don't have time to waste, bro, with somebody who just wants to use you for what you can give them. Chris has told his girlfriend that he's willing to move into Tony's spare bedroom, but he supposedly wants her opinion on the place first. After going over our plan one last and final time, we sent him on his way to retrieve her. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All righty, Chris. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. What we think she looking like, is she a melanin queen? Is she a a a, 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 a frosty queen? What, what, what you call a white girl that's a queen? What you call them? What's a white object? I don't know what you call the white queens. We're going to call them white queens asian queens i don't even know melanin queens so um yeah we gonna see what she look like um i'm gonna rate her too yeah i'm gonna see if you know she look good you feel me yeah well, well actually never mind i'm not gonna do that because i don't want you know well i mean if she cheat on him then she you know she's a slut uh, but uh if she don't i mean i guess i gotta be respectful you know you gotta be respectful to other people shut up yeah. all that was left to do now was set everything up and send ken to starbucks or in mm. his role later starbucks I really be set up in this room because of that guys we got a view of the hollywood sign how beautiful is that that shit kind of beautiful likes a lot of finer things in life she has an expensive taste and i'm not financially kind of like stable at the moment mm -hmm. due to my work would you say that you're striving to like yeah make more money of course, or whatever of course um i just want to give her a great life to hear that you want to mm -hmm. give her the best it's like that's beautiful bro you want to make sure that she's really in your corner you only want to ride with somebody who's really down for you so we in this together nah 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 we don't ride for people that's down for us we ride for people that sluts and whores that don't like us yeah i mean i don't mean to come off as a dick but i mean that's that's some pretty obvious ass like um uh, i guess you would say motivation i guess you know like his face look like nigga i know that like <laughs> i mean i don't know i mean every time you talk about relationship shit and you say you need somebody that's a ride or die it's like with when nigga obviously you know but anyway good words of encouragement i guess yeah oh here we go got a text message perfect 10 minutes out after waiting for almost an hour, Chris was finally 10 minutes away. We were God behind damn. schedule, but nonetheless, oh, they do look like they fall from the city. Yo, yo, what's good? Here we go. Tony's receiving a call. All right, bet I'm coming out. No, you straight, bro. Come to the top of the drive, man. Chris had arrived, and as planned, <laughs> come to the top of the drive, man. I don't know that kind of sound funny. Me being a fellow black person that don't sound like how he look. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. He parked at the end of the drive so that he could walk up with Ari. We wanted her to take in the house and the view. Chris has successfully brought his girlfriend over. Perfect. Our plan is in full swing now. What up? What up, Brody? My girl Ari. Nice to meet you, Ari. What do you look like? I think she's honestly gonna love the view of the Hollywood sign. You like mm. the crib so far? 
Did not go with Justin, so nah, bro. Nah. Look, like the inside is way better. Mm, get up in here. Just take it in. Look at the spot. I'll give you a tour. And, you know, here, come this way. Personally, I didn't design it. I picked out some stuff I liked. Like, I had an interior designer help me with most of it, for real, for real. Okay. Mm. We got a laundry room right here. Tony begins showing off his immaculate home. He will spend the next 20 to 30 minutes giving the couple a tour. Oh, this is oh my God, room. this my do look nice. What you think? Yeah, this view go crazy, it's bro. Really nice. Uh, here, we'll, we'll look at that in a second. Let me show you back here. Before showing off the view, Tony shows off the rest of the house. Mm. This would take a minute, but we wanted to demonstrate Tony's wealth and, of course, make everything believable to Ari. Yeah. Since we have time to kill, let's check it on Ken. He's been at Starbucks for quite some time now. Here, come on. The view go crazy, bro. Is this a pool? <laughs> yeah, there's a little infinity pool hey, over there. I got there. a pool out here, too? Mm. Yo, 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 how you doing? Dude, I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting kind of bored here. I feel like you have time to watch a movie or jump on Netflix or something. Yeah, I wanna watch the show on Netflix, but I'm gonna be honest, the reception out here is pretty bad. And I don't wanna connect to the public Wi Fi. Oh, no, damn. Do you not have ExpressVPN, bro? What's ExpressVPN? Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do Udi, please. Why are you gonna do Don't do this to me. Don't do Udi. I don't wanna skip. you gonna make me skip, nigga. Don't do this, please. I know you're trying to get your bread, but nigga, I'm trying to watch. <sighs> Every time I'm out and about in my connecting one till I need access to all the CPN for sponsoring this video. But nah, here, look, let's go back downstairs room. Yeah, let's go I back downstairs. I wanna show you. I say this part for last. Okay, what this is. This is not the biggest room, but it's still pretty nice. What this would be you if you move in, bro. Yeah, this is you. So I have her. Nah, bro. I just got it furnished. The whole house furnished. The interior designer was doing her thing. I let her do it. Tony finally showed off his quote okay. unquote spare room. This bathroom's a little bit bigger though, for real. And the one in the middle is a full dresser. And anything you don't like, we could throw out, get rid of it, it's straight. It was that mattress look hard as shit. I ain't gonna lie. That bitch looks skinny as shit. Look at this hoe. This hoe look un oh goddamn. I mean, I ain't got the best bed myself, but goddamn, nigga, this shit look like bricks. Look like that bitch thin and that bitch look like it thick as hell. Look like you you jump on that bitch, you hitting straight frame, nigga. Middle is a full dresser. And anything you don't like, we could Throw out, get rid of it, it's straight. It was finally time to start building Chris's excuse to exit the scene. Step one, offer him the room and a job. Like and a job? Okay. Nice. What's up? What you talking for? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Feel free. I pay 15K a month. I'm not gonna front. It's not, it's not cheap. Wait, wait, you pay 15 but G's a month for this? Just talk to me real quick. We, we might be able to work something out. What's your budget? Right now I'm paying $1,000 a month, but uh, I can do uh, 1,200. You got any time off from your job or days off or anything? Yeah, I got like two days off. I was telling you I need an assistant. Okay. If you can come through, I can get a room for 1,000. Oh, yeah, this room. Yeah, that's a big ass cut, nigga. God damn, but well, no, he paying for the whole. Okay, yeah, oh, oh I guess. For a thousand, you my boy, bro. I'm looking out. You not bull, right? Bro, I need you for eight hundred for real. If you promise you got me anything I need done, I need you to go get me my coffee. You feel me? I got these drop offs for Amazon return. Like, <laughs> <Less man. laughs> man, be serious. Do it, man. Bet, bet. I guess the only question is when you want to move in. First of all, if anything changes, if I come earlier, I'll let you know soon. This is good. If everything is going as planned so far. This is great. But uh, yeah. what y'all got going on for the rest of the day? Well, we're both pretty much free today. Uh, okay. okay. You trying to kick it? Yeah. Step two, offer to kick it and order some coffee. I think I might get some oh, coffee. Oh, okay. That's what he wants. Some Starbucks? Yeah. Wow. Do some coffee. Uh, do you want some coffee? Yeah, yeah. Some coffee. I'm going to probably just door dash it real quick. Let's so text me your order. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. Chris texts Tony their Starbucks order. What Ari doesn't know is rather than ordering from DoorDash, Tony forwards the message to Ken. Yeah. Time to make like T Pain and buy you a drink. I think I'm gonna do a video okay. when he gets here. Have you guys seen those like videos where they tip the delivery dude a bunch of money for no reason? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get a one caramel macchiato? Ice or hot? What size? Step three: get to know about Ari's TikTok page. Do you post? Or are you one of those people who just be watching? No, I make content. Okay. She's okay. a TikToker. What kind of like. Fashion hauls, you know, try What's your page? Ari does try ons on TikTok and she's gotten quite popular. Tony will use this information. Oh my to god, make this uh, okay. Did I... you see that? Oh my god, chill out. See you missed 13,000 followers. You pop it. <laughs> feel like you could go far with this. Thank you. Have you thought about doing any other type of content? Like makeup tutorials or anything? I don't, I don't know. I don't mm. She said that's not her thing. Yeah, no, I just okay. like trying stuff on. I mm. do some content myself. Yeah, mainly live streaming and stuff. 
Step four, make Ari believe Tony is a successful live streamer, which mm. explains why he needs an assistant. So what are you doing? A lot of the time. N nigga, nigga, hold on, hold on, nigga. Nigga, is he actually? Nigga, if, nigga, if he doing this, he gonna have to show facts like how she showed facts. Like, I mean, he looked at a TikTok and seen that, you know, 13 times. Nigga, she, I mean, nigga, if he got a house like this, this nigga is a, is a big ass streamer, my nigga. Like, what? I just uh, do like reaction videos, talk to the camera. People mm. love that shit. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Don't you have like 10,000 people like streaming on your Between 10, 20,000 viewers on any live, you know? That's what's up. Yeah, I mean, try and get my TikTok like yours for real. You should do TikTok lives instead. Maybe you could give me some pointers. We could collab on a video or something. Yeah. For real? Yeah, I ain't got nothing to collab about. Hers is fashion, so y you in a lot. I don't know unless you into fashion, my guy, and trying stuff. I don't, I don't really see shit y'all could collab on. I don't understand how YouTubers and streamers. Don't get me wrong, you can collab with people, but nigga, if you somebody that like, I don't know, if you make content that's in a whole different sphere of like the other person content, what the fuck is y'all doing a you know collab for? I mean, you could be cool with people, but I'm just saying like, I don't know, I, that's my opinion. I don't know. But we'll talk about it a little later. Step five, after waiting 20 minutes or so for the coffee to arrive, tip the delivery driver and record it. Here mm. comes Ken. <laughs> All right, guys, we about got to surprise the delivery. You ain't got no blonde, chill out. Driver, thank you for this. Yeah, of course. All right. I'm gonna drop then it. And I got something for you, bro. What is this, social media? This is yours. Take all of it. All of it? All of it. Are you serious? I'm dead ass. Oh my God. That's you. How we much are, is it? Are you sure? Somebody had to get blessed today and it just so happened to be you. We giving mm -hmm. out blessings today. Can, can I give you a hug? Of course. Oh my God. Thank you, I appreciate um. it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, y'all y'all acting need to be studied. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all acting is uh whew, that bitch rough. I ain't gonna lie. Udi Udi laughing cause he like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, Udi, you be a pretty good actor, buddy. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, yo, yo, yo henchmen, yo, 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 yo guys, your friends, they need a little acting course. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't no top tier actor myself. I fucked this shit up bad, nigga. But anyway. Look, he kinda crit. Tony tipped Ken a thousand dollars. Or at least oh, that's a thousand. What we Damn. Think. You really just tipped him a thousand dollars? Yeah. I mean, look, bro, when you get a lot, you got to give a lot. You feel me? Mm. Tony will soon come to regret this $1,000 tip. Step six. Why Notice the drinks are incorrect. Those aren't the right drinks. Nah, man. <laughs> I was about to say when he was ordering them earlier, I was about to say it would be embarrassing if he fucked the order up bad. I think they got to order wrong. Neither of your drinks is there. No, just because I know this is not my Nigga, drink. he better leave. That nigga is still in the driveway. Nigga, he better leave. Bro, you lying. What Ari doesn't know is that Ken placed two orders. The first is what the trio actually ordered, and oh, the second okay. are just three random drinks. Let me really? see if he's still down here for sure, bro. Oh, that's not his car. They didn't get nothing right. <laughs> this now takes us to step seven. Fail to get a hold of the delivery driver. Straight your voice, man. Just work us No, I, I mean, yes, but I just paid dude $1,000, and he for real just gonna blow me off like that? Yeah. I'm not worried about the video, it's the principle. And finally, step eight. Is true. Chris will offer to replace the drinks. It's like 10, 15 minutes. Bet. I'm just go to Starbucks real quick. I'll exchange and get your money back and take care of it. Bro, he can't get no. his $1,000. Yeah, I'm about to say he can't, can't yeah. You just yeah, gotta do all that, bro. You did got the video, you don't get your views. We at least get the drinks right. We can do that, right? I hear you, but okay. if that's the case, we all might as well just go. Nah. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna be your assistant, right? Right. True, true, true. Okay, then. Well, you gotta trust me. You gotta let me do my thing. You gotta it's not that I don't trust you, bro. I know you can do your thing with switching some coffee. But what I'm saying is, if I have you there, what's the point of me? That's true. <laughs> Sit here. They selling a the drink. Coffee yeah. It's only gonna take me like 20 minutes. It's not gonna take that long. That's true. Hey, by the time what's called you try to call him back, I'm already gonna be back. Mm -hmm. I gotta let you spread your wings. <laughs> That's true. That's what you want to do, bro. Look, let them know that they need to double check their orders better. The driver's not answering. Like, really? I texted them twice. They don't even say delivered. I called them three times. I sure would. If it's going straight, I'll just go right now. I'll be right back. All right? No, 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 no,
every time Udi got them like to leave their girl, you know, somewhere, especially like this, I can never see me leaving my girl like this. I'm gonna be real, like, unless that bitch is literally down the street or I gotta go pick up like a full car full of people, th then I mean, then I have to leave us up wherever it is because, like, nigga, we ain't gonna be able to fit everybody in there. But I mean, the way they be doing it, nigga, I'm like, nigga, I don't know about this. I would never, never in my life. I, it's not that I don't trust the I trust, to be honest, I don't trust niggas. I'm gonna be real with you. I could trust my girl. I could trust, uh, you know, my friends too. But like, still, like niggas get some intrusive thoughts. I know some niggas, yeah. So, um, I don't know, bro. I couldn't do it, bro. I don't trust niggas. Niggas be like low key, uh, little. Now I do trust. You no, know, I, I do stand by bros before hoes. I ain't gonna lie. I do, I, I, do, I do believe in that. But it's just the fact, like, you know, if you leave your, you know, this is basically his friend. But I don't know. It seemed like she ain't never even met the dude. So I mean, in, in her case, shit. This is like a new, a new nigga. She don't. So and he got money. <laughs> hey, it couldn't be me, man. I know, but oh, she's calling him out. You know, it's kind of my new job now. So I want. Hey, look, it's gonna be fine. Right, like, go. I'm gonna take care of you. Look, it's fine. You can, you can chill here with me. All right. <laughs> Damn, he is rambling. We yeah, set Chris up to make a quick, clean, and smooth exit, but his nerves and anxiety definitely got to him and almost jeopardized the mission. Wow. Okay. Mission accomplished, but this is awkward now. I guess he really just left. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. He's a good guy, for real. Probably gonna make a great assistant. He will. You good? Yeah, I'm okay. I don't know. You're not sorry he left you, are you? No, it's just weird. I don't know why he didn't want me to go. Yeah. Well, he wanted to feel responsible, I guess. You feel me? I don't know. He is. <laughs> He'll be back in like 20 minutes. It's straight. Bro. Yeah. Oh, if you want, we could go upstairs. Yeah, I was about to say, you need to bring her around the house. Don't make her feel awkward. Don't make her realize the shit is awkward. I'll be like, yeah, you know, by the way, I got a jacuzzi upstairs. And I'm just letting you know, I want to show the rest of the house to it. You know, I, even though he got, he gave her a tour, I mean, shit, shit he could go show her something. I don't know, they will do something. Wanna check out the view again? Sure. Yeah, I was about to say, go look <laughs> oh, at that. Man. Ladies first. Yeah. The stream does well though, so it pays for itself. What? For the most part. Ken has been outside for this entire time, and in a couple of minutes, he's gonna be sneaking Chris back in here. Is that like downtown? That's, That's the city. I don't, I'm not sure. You're not from here? I'm not. Oh. All of this downtown LA to me. Yeah, I'm just happy to be out here. Where are you from? We've set Tony up with the perfect scenario to make his move. There's your headphone right there. The moment of truth has finally arrived. I was being serious about TikTok and, you know, doing something together. Maybe we could work on something. Yeah. I told you, like, I'm new to this. So, like, I have my account for a couple of years. So, mm -hmm. only in, like... A couple of years is still some experience. Five or six K off of clothing hauls. How many videos right. do you think it takes people to get a thousand followers usually? Yeah. Okay, true. Exactly. You got a perspective. I told you, you got a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I'm trying to get like you in this big ass. <laughs> no, no, it's it's definitely something. You know, originally, here, come this way. I wanted to make this a content house. Mm. Yeah, you know what that is, right? Yeah. Dang. The plan was to get the crib, move a bunch of people in, and just go dumb shooting. I mean, I don't know if I want to live with a bunch of people. Normal brain, brain FM brain. I mean, you might be right. You might. It is true, but you still living with niggas, y'all. You know? Living with people would be hard. I ain't gonna lie. Um, especially you live with a lot of different personalities. You know, different personalities. You always gonna have that trashy friend. Mm -hmm. It's about to happen. You always gonna have that that friend that don't pay enough. I don't know. He don't like support everybody enough. I don't know. It's weird. You always gonna have the one that stuck to himself. He, he you know, he do his own thing. You gonna have the partier. Damn near every friend group got like a partier in their group. Somebody that just loves the party and shit. So you got a lot of different personalities. I ain't got time for shit. Most likely. You'd be right, honestly. Might need to let you move in here. Don't play with me. <laughs> I'll get on that in a heartbeat. Who's playing? I'm Hold so on now, nigga. <laughs> I don't know if I could have you and your man both living here. Why not? Three can be a little bit crowded sometimes. 
I mm. mean, imagine the content you can make here, though. You got the nice little pool. You could do bikini hauls and different beach outfits. Yeah. You know what I mean? That would yeah, be cute. Nice. You know, with the Hollywood sign nice. right here in the background. But I mean, look. Is the Hollywood sign light up? I don't think so. How don't you know? You've been living here for three months. Uh, you don't come out here? I don't know, for real. I, <laughs> I mean, to be real, he he don't really need to you know no i don't know i mean I feel like i would know but i mean i just say i never call it the right time i'll be like i think that bitch glow up that's what i would say i say i think i wouldn't say no it don't no i just say i think that bitch glow up i think if i remember i was drunk most of the times i was out here i would have came up with excuse yes it does you should just lie just lie and be like yeah it does or no it doesn't uh you cold yes i'm yeah, even if you lied and said, yeah, it does. And she wake there and she was there when it was dark. And she'd be like, it's not going. I'd be like, shit, I thought it was going. My eyes fucked up. <laughs> I'll get you a jacket. You. Tony grabs Ari his jacket. He takes advantage of this kind gesture and finally makes his move. And I'll be honest for a second. Yeah. I think Chris is a great guy and all, but I don't think he deserves you. Whoa. You said, wait, you said you don't think he deserves me? I don't. You're clearly out of his league. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> what? Honestly, I find you super attractive myself. I'd love the opportunity to take you out sometime. I got a man. Yes, you do. No. And? What do you mean, and? Yeah, stand on and business. I'm telling you that clearly he doesn't deserve you. Mm. He's a nice guy and all, but I feel like you could do better. I don't think he knows what to do with you. Mm. And I'd like to show you that. So we go on a date sometime, and afterward we could go to the Gucci store or something, get you something nice. Don't fold. No dudes is lining up to get at you every day. Yeah, but you're, that's your friend, y'all are boys. Yeah. You've got to move in. Not if you move in first. You're willing to do your boy dirty like that? For you. For me. Clearly, you're worth it. See, so for females' perspective, y'all should realize he a grimy nigga. You should realize that. If, if you talking to one of your, like, nigga's friends and he act like this, yeah, that's a grimy nigga. I ain't gonna lie. You definitely shouldn't leave him. You should leave your boyfriend for a nigga like this. This nigga grimy as shit if he doing this shit behind his boy back. If you do this shit behind your boy's back, use a grimy nigga. I'm worth it. <laughs> a thousand percent. What's so funny? How's up? Well, for one, you're beautiful. Mm. That goes without saying. You cute. I'm cute. This <laughs> you is cute. <laughs> we could be cute together. Stop. You feel me? She didn't say no. Instead of standing here looking at the Hollywood sign, we could be watching the sunset in Bali. You been to Dubai? How did we go from Bali to Dubai? Two different places. Both of them we can go. <laughs> but nah, for real, I think we could make a power couple. She gigging on a lot. I have a boyfriend. Like, what? <laughs> I know. So, imagine this. Uh huh. Me and you doing TikTok together. You feel me? We'd be a, a crazy couple on there. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if y'all be a crazy couple. I'm going to be honest. Uh, no shade. No shade. I'm just saying, try on hauls and shit. Like, I guess. Uh, I guess. TikTok together. You feel me? We'd be a, a crazy couple on there. Oh. <laughs> Alright, how about we just start like this? You just give me your number and I'll hit you up, set up a date sometime, mm. take you out, get something to eat, and go shopping like I said, and show you a good time. Don't do it. I'll give you my number, but I don't know about the getting to know you part. <laughs> Why not? I have a man. But she won't give him your number though. At the end of the day, yeah. it's about you. And what you want. And if you want me, <laughs> this crazy view, this house, <laughs> it's all yours. I mean, if you think about it, she really is just trying to hit a lick on this nigga. Because, I mean, I mean, the nigga is basically admitting to, like, tricking her. You know, he, I mean, he basically like, hey, I'll go, I'll go get to the Gucci store. I'll buy you anything so you can try it on. Thing is, though, once she get whatever she needs, she need to go. Because this nigga look like, yeah, he look like he'll, he'll be like, yeah, uh, you know, we spent a good time at Gucci store. We going back to my place now. And she like, uh, no. And he like, yes, we are. You know, so you gotta, you gotta be careful with these niggas that willing to spend all this money. Because they think spending all that money, you know, that means 
mean they got that mean they got the doorway into yeah you know that's not how that worked for some women i'm gonna be real she just trying to hit a lick though i ain't gonna lie she at least saying she got a man but hold on nigga we ain't done yet i asked if i could speak honestly i appreciate you for giving me the freedom to do so uh -huh. i don't keep pressing the issue just know you're welcome here whenever you feel me and you can use the house to shoot content regardless of taking me up on this offer can we go mm. outside oh of course Freezing. it's cold out here i just hope you're not uncomfortable at all that's all okay, i'm saying I'm what you thinking yeah what you thinking oh my god she took his number mm -hmm. i mean she rejected him a lot but i don't know wait 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 hold on nigga how we how we gonna make him come back without if he come back in the room from upstairs niggas gonna be like nigga when did you get back and it possibly hasn't been 20 minutes yet so hold on nigga <laughs> it definitely feels way better and actually here look you can use this blanket here sit down i'm thinking that like because she knows i'm coming back she doesn't want to try nothing that's true you think that's what it is that's true i think she's uh, initially she sounded like she was gonna go for it but she did bring you up she did give him her number though it's about the vibe even though it's like a no it still kind of feels like a yes why give you a number if you didn't like it you mean it feels like i shouldn't trip off of this but some of my mind is like nah like you should because something this vibe definitely going on yeah or something to drink uh, some juice or something youtube music premium is an experience that gives you complete nigga if i ask you if you want something to drink you either gonna get water wine or alcohol i'm gonna be real i ain't giving you no goddamn juice well one because i really don't keep juice on me but two yeah water is just the main thing i would say first you want some water or something but i mean if you bring up you trying to get a little yeah yeah, yeah you trying to get a little a little white girl wasted i'm gonna be like okay i'm gonna first say wine because i'm not like a real uh, you know alcoholic drinker anymore but anyway yeah something this vibe definitely going on you want something to i guess drink? Uh, some juice or something um, all right no okay. yeah you're supposed to have the starbucks okay. i mean it's your man check on him maybe it's a fake number. <laughs> that's kind of true actually maybe she just yeah. gave him her number just to like get him off her back i mean i don't think you should be giving anyone your phone number like that honestly uh, that's your call i, I don't know man that don't really seem like a bad case though bro you look at most of these videos it's obvious what the girl is like taking a number for or giving a number for like they you know, like you could tell huh Shit, i mean he basically saying he'll get her a free bag he'll get her some clothes all type of shit. i mean i don't lie if i'm in this position as the nigga when i come back she better let me know everything he said though he she better let me know everything that the fact this thing was telling her he was selling her a dream and shit he was like you could be living in this house i don't really fuck with your yo yo your, your boy your man like that you tell me all that shit and then you tell me that shit i'll be like shit we gonna we gonna get a bag off this little nigga are we i don't know then she might end up i might get cooked then mm -mm. and then mine i don't know it's a weird case but this ain't the worst type of scenario with giving numbers out and shit like that because she didn't even give her number out and she kept saying she got a man so i'm gonna be honest i don't think she this other nigga got more money than this nigga but i don't think she think that nigga look better than her nigga i'm gonna be real today i mean I, I get what you're saying it makes sense what you're saying yeah because low-key it was not a like nah i mean if you want to continue this test too we can continue the test he can hit her up in three days or two uh, days or something and be like I think, hey, let's, let's try this i have a I drive her home uh -huh. and then we'll have the decoy car one more time and and like ask her out yeah ask her out if she says yes then hey she ain't the one for me but if she says no then hey man i'll give her the benefit of the doubt okay right. you wouldn't want to wait like a week or nah, like a couple of days i don't want i don't want to have to wait for up. something a couple of days to see if she's loyal i want to get over with yeah I mean, yeah we could definitely do that well, we i'm talking definitely about. just run with that. Do, that do that okay let's make it happen chris needed some more reassurance that okay. ari was truly loyal but he didn't want to keep the test going instead he opted for a simple phone call what up bro oh snap Right drink. Good luck, bro. So the plan now was for Chris to make up an excuse to leave and drop Ari off. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Ari. Oh, remember. Remember what? <laughs> <laughs> Work together. Yeah, she trying to let it be known. Like, hell no, nah, nigga. We'll remember what? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> if I was her nigga and I heard him say, uh, remember, I'm gonna look at her and I'm gonna look at him. I'm like, remember, I'll beat her to the point. I'd be like, what y'all remember? What y'all remember? What you mean? We were talking about working together. Oh, the yeah. Maybe she didn't cheat because that's his boy. Maybe she didn't cheat because she knew that he was coming back. Or maybe she didn't cheat because she's loyal. Bro, if it was me, I'd say she folded. You, you think she folded? I got her number, bro. I yeah, got her yeah, number. that's a. Um, 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 I 
I'm gonna be real. I think you trying to gas yourself up, buddy. I'm gonna be honest. I think out of most of the Udi videos, you do you doing the, the least the least good so far. I'm gonna be real. She didn't seem like she was fucking with you like damn near at all. I'm gonna be real. She didn't even want to stay with your ass, nigga. A little giggles, bro. She didn't tell me to stop. She said, "I have a man." Ah, uh, she's going for it, bro. She's yeah. going for it. It's, she knew he was coming back. He was thinking it was like more because you're his boy. Yeah. Um, but that if it was a random dude and under yeah. different circumstances, she would have believed. He already said it's not a pass, though, did he? He's more leaning on the side that it's not a pass. No. Yeah. But at the same time, he says that he wants to give her the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Right. So we're giving her the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> and we're gonna do the last little straw to break the camera's back. I guess. Yo, yo. So what's the deal, yo? Oh, I just dropped it off right now. Around the corner, so uh, let's make this happen. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Call how was it on the ride home? Awkward? It was, uh, you know, we just talked a little bit, you know, straight, but uh, I'm trying to keep it cool face, but you know, it's cool. it is, it is what it is. Did she bring it? He didn't say nothing. Hold on, nigga. Anything up? Did she tell you that Tony was hitting on her and stuff? She just basically said, um, he was cool. I said, what you guys talked about? She was like, really nothing about more like TikTok content, stuff like that. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, yeah, that's sus. That's sus. But then again, if my girl know one of my friends trying to be grimy behind me, she better let me know he being grimy. I don't give a fuck about the friendship no more. You better let me know he was doing some grimy shit. I ain't gonna lie. Because, nigga, hell no, bro. That mean, I don't know. There's two ways. Either she really just didn't want him to know because she is fucking with him, or she didn't want to fuck up their friendship or their opportunity. Really? Yeah, their opportunity. They got an opportunity to get in this big ass house, so she gonna take the shit. Yeah. I mean, I think that's bad. I don't know. Do you think that's bad? Yeah. Mm. She's yeah, probably trying to save face a little bit. Didn't want to blow up the spot if he was really about to move in. Mm. Uh, that call it, you feel me? Yeah. All right, what, what you think, Chris? Call her now or wait till she gets settled? We'll just do it right now. All right. All right. All right for sure. There you go. Stay on standby, Chris. Hmm. Your call has been forwarded to an automated oh. voice. You hear that, Chris? That's a good sign so far. So far. <laughs> she doesn't know the number, though. I got her. She didn't get mine, so. You want to text her? Like, hey, it's a... Uh... As we try to get a hold of Ari, I want to know your guys' thoughts on this test. Was this a pass or a fail to you? Let me know before you hear the phone call, because what happens... This mug a little weird, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how I feel about it. I definitely feel like it's like a... If, if it's a one to a hundred, like, percent, you know, a hundred is she cheating, she ready to, like, she ready to get... Yeah, she ready to get tossed around like some salad by him. If a hundred is that and zero is, you know, she ain't fucking with him at all like she think he ugly never you know in the time of day i think she about a cool mm, bro i ain't gonna lie the fact that he got this money is carrying him i ain't gonna lie i don't think she fucking with him like that at all that that much like if it wasn't for all of the money and shit but that's obvious so i say right now i really don't want to give her 50 percent. i'd say 45 percent 50% is more like a, you know, she could go either way, which I think she can. But I, I mean, right now, I say that I think now nah, it might be 60%. I'm going to be real. I'm, I'm going to be real. I don't know. What's next may actually surprise some of you. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's up? Not much. It's Tony. Oh, hey. Oh, uh, just was calling to see if you made it home safe. Mm hmm Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Bet, bet. Chris still with you? Uh, no. All right, bet, bet. Well, uh, I just wanted to call again and just check about what we were talking about earlier, you know. I offered to take you out. I just to know that you know that offer is still staying. Oh, my God. Look, look, I know, I know. I sound like a broken record, I know. But this is my last time asking, you feel me? If it's a no, it's a no. I'll bow out gracefully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I promise. Okay. Will you go out with me just one time? Like I said, dinner. If you want, we can go shopping. I already put the offer on the table. We can see where the night takes us. Let's see. Mm. Honestly, I have stuff to do, but I can't today. Who said anything about today? Look, we don't yeah, gotta rush yeah, it. Yeah, say no, time. say no, say no. Okay, well, I'm, I'll let you know then. So that's a yes? Yeah, it's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, only because you have a committed to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, like you said, I'm persistent. Look, if you do hey, regret... Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the f***? What the f*** is this? Hello? Hold on, you're on mute. My bad, bro. Why are you accepting dates? What the f*** are you doing? What? I mean, you called it loyal? 
Wait, wait, so wait, this how we gonna do the this how we gonna do the interaction? So he gonna just have a a, a call? Okay. You know who the f this is? You accepting dates? Oh my God, I'm and my guy, my ass. What's going? You over here accepting dates by my friend? Chris, wait, is Tony still on the phone? Man, I'm I'm here too. Yes. You Okay, well, <laughs> I mean, this is called lawyer. I don't know what the you're talking about. Like, your friend is trying to fuck with me. I'm talking about, bro, you literally just accepted a date. That is true. Bro, because I have to, because you accepted a date by somebody else. What are you talking about? That is what true. What do you mean? Like, what do you, you mean? Bro, I'm here. What's going on? Everybody, this is a whole test. We all been checking on you. It doesn't matter. Like, you supposed to mess with me, though. We supposed to be together. That is true. He's supposed to be together. Right now. He's doing his job. What's I know that? she not calling him insecure. I know she the bro. Y'all females need to let that goddamn word. Y'all need to leave that shit where it's at. Because y'all y'all saying that really is the most infuriating thing. Because it's literally not about that. Y'all keep saying insecure is like that's like that's how y'all get us. That's like when uh, anytime a dude feel a, a certain way about a female, they jump to insecure. Well, y'all need to stop using that damn word. Nine times out of ten is literally just the respect, the uh the principle, and just the fact that like I don't know, like if Rose was reverse, you would be getting on his ass if he did the same shit. So this is not being about insecure bitch this is being truthful and this is being how you would actually react to shit okay i'm talking about what about us uh -oh. okay i'm not I'm talking yeah, what you mean okay she clicked she, she hung clicked. up she clicked. i'm sorry my g i'm sorry i had to go out like that but now nah, you grimy i ain't gonna lie you smiling why you smiling this shit ain't funny my nigga i was just say man something about him something about him man i don't know man he might try to hook up with her after this shit i'm gonna be real it look like he actually fucking with her i ain't gonna lie but i mean the whole reason you was doing this is because you didn't have me feel me complete trust in it so at least you knew before you went further you good bro hell no yeah i'm good i mean like don't 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 stress it too much. <laughs> I should have held back a little bit. Held some to like I'm better in person, you know. Nah, you're good, Chris. Nah, you're good, bro. If you wanted to, if you wanted to end this, you could. You're good. You're good, bro. You're good. Yeah, no, I'm good. I mean, I hey, look, I heard enough. I'm yeah. Freaking heard everything I needed. I mean, I knew it, man. I called it, man. Uh, Why Udi look like he was about to cry? You seen Udi fat nigga look like he was about to cry? But it is. It's plenty more fish in the sea, so you just keep on swimming. Let her keep on digging. Yeah, bro. Who this nigga think he? Is? I mean, I thought like this nigga. I mean, it's funny, but this nigga, you would swear this nigga is like made a book called The Mac Man himself. The way this nigga talk, this nigga. I don't know. I don't know who he really is. This nigga might be like an actual. Pimp. Who knows? But this nigga, like, I don't know the way he talking. It's like, okay, buddy, you played the role. We get it. We play. You playing the role, but nigga, it, you you could get out of character now. Nigga got like a turtleneck on, feeling like he like, yeah, I'm a swell suave nigga, nigga. Nigga think he like the prom just to be. You have you seen the prom Justin Bieber with the white girls? Yeah, that's kind of how he acting. He feel like he the shit. I don't know, man. I don't know though. That was a weird, a weird case though. I definitely do say she was folding at them, definitely. But I don't know. I mean, bro, I'm gonna be real. I'm not even trying to say like most girls wouldn't. I mean, would do this or wouldn't. But I'm just saying, if a girl see a nigga that's like really trying to get them anything and shit, a lot of girls gonna look at it like it's free game. Like it's just free like shit she could get. Only problem is, one point you gonna have to end up. You know, one point you know, if you using the guys a trick or some shit like that, nigga buying you all type of shit, you better expect that one day he gonna be like. Okay, it's time for us to actually get together and kiss and all type of shit. So I don't know, man. But I'm just saying he was. Nigga seemed like he was just. I don't know, man. I definitely do believe she she was fucking with her boyfriend looks wise more than the other nigga though. The other nigga, the only reason if the nigga didn't say he would be spending a bag on her and all type of shit, I don't even think she'd give this nigga time of day. I'm gonna be real with you. That's my take on it. She definitely did fold. I mean, yeah. I, I could never put my girl on a lawyer to test. I'm gonna be wrong. If I had a girl, nah, there's no way. There's no way. If I had a girl, I'm guessing all rip. She, like, she must be something crazy. Cause me with a girl, especially nowadays and shit like that, my am. I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't get with no girl unless I know for a fact she head over heels for me. So, 